Welcome to Pat Gray Unleashed. Well, we're in it now. There's no turning back. Welcome to the show. Great to have you with us. Man, we are once again just jam-packed full of fun. Fun! Remember that liberal uh, who was screaming about uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg yeah. dying? Fun! That's what we have today. <laughs> that's not exactly the word I feel word like that's used, the wrong word. Yeah, it is the wrong word, actually. But I'm going to use it just for fun. Just for fun! Uh, Jeffy joins us today because we've got a big day with uh, with some listeners yeah. who paid a good deal of money to hang with us it today. It was like an auction and they get to spend a day at the Blaze. And so, uh, and I believe they spent four point three million dollars to that's spend right. the day with us. Thank you, right? Four point yeah. three million. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, worth every. This will be worth every penny. We invested in an FTX, so I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it. <laughs> well, we lost it all. So, uh, so I don't know where Kathy and Greg uh, Blatt are, but uh, Kathy and Greg Blatt. Yeah, that's you're, who's welcome, coming you're in. welcome to. I mean, look, we got empty chairs sitting right there mm-hmm. in the hallway, and mm-hmm. there's nobody in. There they are. Look like really comfortable chairs too. They do. <laughs> so then, if you sit there for two hours, uh, you're going to be feeling good at the end of it. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the finest. I mean, hello. Nothing but the finest. Hello. Millions of dollars. Uh, we do have a comfortable area out there where we they can do. look at the big screen if they want. But uh, we'll see what they choose. Anyway, uh, f- first of all, let me let me tell you that, that uh, our Q&A today, the off-the-record segment yeah. that was scheduled for 10 o'clock has been postponed. What? Hmm. Yes. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Glenn is... Uh, is out again today, so I got to fill in for Glenn. So we had to push that back. Oh, yeah. So, so it's going to happen after the radio show today? Or? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's going to happen in February sometime. Oh wow, yeah. February! Well, yeah. Good grief! What sometime. are we doing? Are we sometime are you, are, like, excuse down? us? Are you booked before hey, then? You don't just willy nilly put together one of these Q and A's. Wow! Yeah. You know what I mean? I got to think about how did I get started in radio? <laughs> did I start doing impression? I don't know how I'm going to do that. Well, now I have till February to okay. figure it out. All right, good. to remember. <laughs> remember your you know, story. Because you can't just recall that what just willy nilly. <laughs> Are you Joe Biden? You have trouble with that? Oh, did you see, though, speaking of the Bidens, that uh, there was a picture, was it on Instagram or somewhere, of Hunter Biden driving that Corvette back in 2017, which is leading people to believe that he was the one living at the house, driving that Corvette everywhere. Not that that was in doubt to begin with, but man... $50,000 Fifty thousand dollars in rent every month. Oh, that yeah, fifty grand. You know what that is? Uh, that's well, big guy money. Forty nine thousand. That uh, forty nine nine nineteen. Thank you, Jeff something. Fisher, for clarifying that. Fifty thousand. Yeah, he got changed back I, from his fifty thousand dollar bill. I think that that was uh, that's got to be related somehow to uh, uh, the cut, the ten, the you know, ten percent for the big guy. Oh yeah. I I, fe- I, I feel that mm. that's where this is going to end up leading. It's this possible. is just it's so crazy. bad. It's crazy. But while we're uh, on the subject of, of filling in for Glenn today, um, that poor guy and Tanya uh, have been, you know, along with the kids, Rafe and Cheyenne, Hannah, Mary, they've been through one trial after another. So please keep them in your prayers. Uh, they could uh, certainly use that. And um, uh, hopefully he'll be able to return soon. Yeah. Uh, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. So again, the off the record segment canceled for today, but we'll reschedule for right away or sometime like that. in February, March. It's I off, off, off the record. April, <laughs> May. I mean, certainly not. Certainly not past May or June. All right. I wouldn't think. Well, I mean, we could you do know, the, you know, July. July, July fourth. I, I would think almost for sure not June or July. Wait, are we waiting August. until you remember <laughs> how you got into radio? Yeah, yeah. Well, and then that we'll might reschedule be a, it. Might be a long way. When he started doing impressions, yeah, I imagine. Sorry, that's <laughs> okay. Not what he got. Uh, I could answer that question since it was asked in advance, and I teased it yesterday. Now you're gonna have to wait a month, and I know a lot of people. <laughs> are right on the edge of their seats yeah. on that. Yeah. I mean, I was. Have, they have I, to know. I asked a follow-up question about it. I wanted to know. What was the follow-up? If the first impression was of someone dead oh, or alive. dead or alive. <laughs> yeah, and I believe we determined it, it was, was alive. alive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. So Off the Record has uh, already taken place. Yes. Right here. Right there. Now, we'll let you know as soon as we have a rescheduled date for sure. We will. Uh and I'm sure a lot of people are weeping, oh, man. And wailing, and gnashing There's their teeth no doubt right about now. Because, mm. man, they were looking forward to that. So yesterday we showed you uh, Greta Thunberg being 
arrested uh, <laughs> yeah. while protesting a coal mine in Germany so, yeah. because uh, how dare they right. want to keep warm right. this winter? How dare you? So play this, Kayla, because <laughs> yesterday <laughs> Jeffy said, also oh, this right. isn't the one where they're carrying her away. Because I'd, I'd seen the pictures of them carrying her, right? They did yeah. multiple takes and on I, her yeah. being arrested. And I didn't realize shots. that until yesterday. So this is yesterday. This is the first staged one. Unreal. So now play the other one, Kayla. Uh, I mean, when you film so, a movie, you take different. Yeah. Shots well, this is really common with police. Look at this. A completely different setting. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. In everything. And maybe. Just, yeah. Maybe it happened over here, guys. This is a better shot. Let's go over here. Here's the directors over here smiling <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Wh where's this gonna appear? Like some Netflix special? Look. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Now we're gonna carry you over the mud. Yay. That's just embarrassing. That's just. Embarrassing. Then they let her go. Let her go. Oh, well, is... yeah, well, we're going to shoot the next shot. So, do we have any footage of her behind bars? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to see. Wow. That's, I mean, how embarrassing is that? And the narrative has already started that she was arrested. I, know. Uh, I mean, that's uh, our pal Al Gore at the World Economic Forum uh -huh. mentioned it in one of his rants yesterday. Oh, yeah. wow. That's he, great. He, he, I mean, they're already laying that narrative. Yeah, he of had a big day being, being arrested. arrested. Big day yesterday for Al Gore. Let's, here he is talking yeah, about climate he needs, activists. He needs to calm down. Oh, good. Man. There's another divide increasingly between those There's who are old enough here, to man. be in positions of power and the young people of this world. Greta Thunberg was just people. arrested in Greta Germany. Just, I agree uh -huh. with her uh, 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 efforts to stop that uh, coal mine in Germany. <laughs> Young people around the world are out. looking at what we're doing. Yeah. They look at the World Bank and they say, oh, you've got a climate denier in charge of the World Bank. So why are you surprised that the World the Bank denier. is completely yeah. failing? to do its job. What do I say to these young activists Relax, that I train dude. around the world when they come to me young and they say, he trains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you okay with putting the the CEO of one of the largest oil companies in the world at, in as the president of the cop? There's a lot of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> as credit oh, as well. There yeah, are a lot of words and there are some meaningful down. commitments, but we are still failing badly. <laughs> so we got a climate denier. Somebody who denies that there's a climate? <laughs> <laughs> there's another think, divide yes. we're increasing we're on Mars between those yeah, there's no climate who are here old enough to be in positions of power <laughs> uh -huh. and the young people of this world. and the young people right. of the Greta Thunberg Wait, where's this coming from can we kill it Thank I don't you. know <laughs> that's I mean that's almost as impassioned as he betrayed this country yeah, he played on our fears yeah I, I think Tom Elliott uh, put it best on Twitter yesterday above this rant or one of his rants he had so many yesterday. yeah the one after but, this but where he, he says, goes I gotta yeah he, he says climate change is their religion Davos mm -hmm. is their Mecca no Schwab is their Pope perfect Charles Schwab is their Pope Charles no no Schwab? not no not that the guy. Investment oh, guy Klaus. oh okay because we've got some Charles Schwab Campuses here yes, we that do. are gigantic. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, I want to. I want to thank them for uh, bringing San Francisco. <sighs> yeah, to that was North nice. Texas. Of them. That was nice. Mm -hmm. of them. Just liberalize our politics a little bit with about eighty-four thousand employees in the area. That's great. That's great. Uh, all right, so there's Al Gore getting all hot and bothered yeah, over somebody who needs Greta to Thunberg. get that get second right. chakra released. <laughs> But, uh, see, we got more from him, though. Yeah, uh, and and a clearly staged arrest, uh -huh. and he's he's going to try to make us think that that oh, was man. legit. Come on. So yeah, he's he's just getting warmed up on the uh, okay. climate denier front, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. Enough already. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough. And I, so I don't want to get sidetracked side onto yeah. what needs to happen, but we need to scale up climate finance, but we need oh, desperately to scale money. down anti-climate finance. Yeah, we got to silence them. And we are still subsidizing the burning of fossil fuels mm -hmm. globally at a rate 42 times larger. Pause it for a second. Than That's a stinking lie. <laughs> That's an no, absolute, just said it. unadulterated <laughs> lie. And let, you know, if you're lumping in some tax advantages or tax breaks, that to me is way different than subsidizing it. What they do is subsidize solar and wind. Oh, to the to the point degree. where I mean, you can barely even afford it with all their subsidies. Yeah. <laughs> the last 
legitimate statistic I heard is that solar and wind were subsidized to the tune of 25 times yeah. as much well, as, as oil. I, I mean, we've done that here in Texas where, I mean, that's why cities have gone solar and that's why we had such an issue uh, in the, during the winter yeah. because they couldn't create the power they needed. Right. It's fun, I mean, right? Just, Remember the ice on the uh, on the windmills? button. Remember the, oh, oh, the, the button, button yeah. was yeah. frozen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they just couldn't push a button. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you so going to do? I, I don't know. I I predict you're not going to make it through this uh, 90 second rant from <laughs> Al Gore. Oh uh, um, well, we made it through all this one. Yeah. I want to hear the rest of this one first. Oh, we have. Oh, I thought yeah, we finished I, I, this no. for the shift oh, toward no. renewables and EVs, uh, <clears throat> etc. We need new leadership at the World Bank. We need them to uh, oh, scale up the leverage up and the vastly Bank. increase the amounts that are, are committed. And we need to rein in the anti-climate Listen activities of the fossil industry. Wow, the a- anti-climate activities. What what are those? He wants to stop free speech. That man Dr- was 537 votes away from being president of the United States, and he can't stand free speech. And I don't think I sent in the clip today. Maybe we'll have it tomorrow. There's somebody at the WEF that's really pissed at Elon Musk because he's like, uh, look, we've done a good job of uh, like yeah. con- bringing down their revenue and all this stuff. I mean, we got to go after these people that, that are disinformation sources. These people are dangerous it, as hell, and they're all... It's not just free speech, doubles. either. He's talking about stopping oil drilling. Yes. yes. He wants to stop the drilling. But he also wants to stop the message mm-hmm. of anybody that disagrees with Al Gore. That's because his arguments don't hold up. That's why he won't debate right. anybody. Yeah, but there's some serious stuff but, happening to our climate, Pat Gray. Oh. And he explained it all to us. Good. It's some serious stuff. Listen oh, to no. this. All Ooh. right. We're going to bring these emissions down. And, and just to put the science in a, a slightly different context, people are familiar with that thin blue line that the uh, astronauts bring back in their pictures from space. Oh, wait. Wait. That's, the, that's the part of the atmosphere that has oxygen, the troposphere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's only five to seven kilometers <laughs> thick. Oh, that's what we're using as an open sewer. If you could drive a car straight up in the air at interstate highway speeds, you'd get to the top of that blue line in five minutes. That's and all the greenhouse incredible. gas pollution would be below you. We're still putting 162 million tons into it every single day. And the accumulated amount is now trapping as much extra heat as would be released by 600,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding mm. every single day on the Earth. Mm-hmm. That's what's boiling the oceans, creating these Whoa. atmospheric rivers Whoa. and the rain bombs Whoa. and sucking the moisture out of the land and rain creating bombs. the droughts and melting the ice and raising the sea level and causing these waves of climate refugees predicted to reach one billion in this century. Look Shut at these up. xenophobia and political hey. wow, authoritarian trends that have come from just a few million refugees. What about a billion? We what would about? lose our capacity for self-governance on this world. We have to act. So in answer to your question, I would say we have to have wow. a sense of urgency much greater much than we greater. have yet had. And That's we need to have had. And we need to make <laughs> some down. changes. He himself. Wow. I have had had out had. there, man. Wow. So He's making up for lost time because nobody's paid a bit of attention to him in the last decade. And now he's... He's going to pop off and be so extreme. So, I'm going to be so extreme that you must pay attention. You oh, yeah. must pay attention to what I'm saying. Uh, ridiculous. Now, and now we have rain bombs. You know, that's called a thunderstorm. Okay. <laughs> it's always been. It will always be. How dare You've you. just renamed it so that it sounds really scary. That's what they've done with this rain bomb thing. The polar vortex thing. That's a cold front. Yeah, naming naming cold, winter cold storms. I, Stop it, weather yeah, change. I must have so missed the footage. I, I'm guessing it's out there. Uh-huh. But I must have missed the footage on the boiling oceans. Yeah, right. Th- thank you. There was another thing. The oceans <laughs> are boiling so now? I missed there. that. Wow. <laughs> Man, you could, uh, you could cook a lot of eggs. <laughs> you um, could. You know what, what's it called when you put them on the on the eggs Benedict? They uh, poached. Or yeah, you poach. you poach them. You poach we can poach them. every egg on Earth, uh, and Which, uh, have way, some would, despair. Some, some go ahead meal these days. Yeah, poaching eggs, man. <laughs> eggs are a little, little pricey. They're a little pricey. <laughs> That's a, little a mortgage. Pricey. Yeah. That's a refi these days if you want eggs. What's the price tripled? I believe oh. something like that. Oh, at least. 
Uh, the cost of butter. You know, we have the little company, uh, Kexi.com. K-E-K-S-I.com. Really? K-E-K-S-I.com. Never heard of Sell it. some delicious cookies. Got the hot chocolate cookie back, and uh, the butter beer is new and improved, and the salted caramel and the Texas sheet cake. Oh, the salted caramel. You're going to love it all. Anyway, the price of butter has quadrupled yeah. in a Ugh. year. Quadrupled. You about a cow yet? Not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure we, where we put him in the uh, kitchen. <laughs> put him be... out back with the beavers. No, all right. At my house. You got, back you got room the in the studio yeah, that's for right. a cow? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, we prove that every week, don't Thank we? Thank you for getting there. Mm-hmm. I mean, and so. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Couldn't help it. All right. Do we still, have we, have we uh, covered uh, all the Al Gore uh, yeah, nonsense? Yeah, yeah, we're done with that. I mean, that. plus it's all about money, right? I mean, even yesterday, and I, I didn't see the, the if we had the clip, but uh, John Kerry yesterday had a oh. speech where he said money uh, in the, you know, what, what it takes no. for this climate activism to happen is money 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 oh money money gosh. money money get out of my face that's well, all he cares about not nah, right so. they want a hundred trillion dollars a hundred trillion to combat this made up crisis right. has the world warmed a little bit no. yeah it has 0. 0.9 degrees celsius in a hundred years big deal what has that done it's grown more food that's what it's well, done. I know that we uh, have a sharp spike in Greenland. Do we? Uh, they claim uh-huh. that because it, the northern island is 2.7 degrees hotter. The grave. You didn't say that properly, <laughs> yeah. Jeffy. 2.7 degrees. That's uh, the warmest in more than 1,000 years, according oh. to new ice core data. Interesting. What so, happened a thousand years ago? That I'm not warmed sure. It? I don't know that we were actually taking hmm. ice core data a thousand years ago. A thousand years, years ago. ago either. But they know, though, that it was warmer then. So you're proving with your own words that what we've been saying is true. It's part of the Earth cycle here. Well, Maria Horhold, uh, a glaciologist. Oh, careful, a glaciologist. At the Alfred Wegner Institute in Germany. Wait, what's her last name? Uh, Maria Horhold. Okay. Glaciologist. <laughs> uh, she said, we, uh, we have now a clear signature mm. of global warming. Oh, so global warming signed its work? <laughs> it did. did it? Oh, that's it nice. Did. That's cool. Yeah. I'd like to see they that. I'd like to see the global warming it. signature. <laughs> maybe, I'm going to autograph this <laughs> glacier. <me. laughs> global warming. Perhaps world leaders could focus mm. on um, the international problem of inflation and in crime and uh, border integrity mm. and maybe you know the pr- overall prices of goods before we start trying to control the weather why don't you prove that you can handle these other you can control these other issues and then we'll let you go and play with the weather but until then you know don't you just sit back yeah. here just how about shut up shut up have our kids forgotten what snow <laughs> looks like yet well yes well, because yeah. it hasn't snowed in what 15 minutes but, right yeah. I, it has been a war- it's been a warm winter this, this, thus far. Uh, by the Here. way, though, the, although we've the, had two really serious cold snaps. So cold here. snaps. Uh, I just let me throw this out there. Um, uh, the European model. I love this. Joe Bastardi tags me whenever there's a chance for snow in Dallas Fort Worth. The European model, <coughs> which has nailed the previous two cold snaps here mm. uh, in Texas before anybody else, uh, any other models did. Mm. <laughs> I don't believe this. I'm just telling you what it says. It's predicting between eight and twelve inches of snow uh, coming up on Wednesday for Dallas Fort Worth. Next, uh, yeah, like six days from now, Pat. That's not going to happen. I mean, we're out. We're out taking. Uh, uh, we're, you could we're, be laughing out the other side of your face. I hope so. Happens. That'd be great. We're, I'd love to see we're it. We're sunbathing right now in Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah, it's but in the, it's anyway, been just throwing in the that 70s, out there. Upper seventies. The last. I mean, it was a little days. nippy this morning. Yeah, it, it, the temperature's down today. <clears throat> it's going to be more normal, like sixty or something. But <laughs> so anyway, uh, they 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 can't predict accurately weather forecasts. Five, three I mean, days. The day serious. of, they can't in many cases predict. That's correct. Remember, we've had severe storms mm-hmm. roll through. Remember the tornadoes? They were not calling for that when that happened around here. Right, we got right. multiple tornadoes that was not supposed to happen until it happened. And now these people are trying to set international economic policy. 
It'll lower your quality of life because we're predicting that if you don't do anything, then a century from now, it could be a couple of degrees warmer. Oh, shut up. And not one of their climate models has been accurate. Correct. None of them. Ever. Yeah, it's never Ever. happened where, yeah, look at that. That's dead on. So we're, we're basing everything on the faulty predictions of these climate models and, and this, the fear mongers like Al Gore. And they've never been right. I mean, they continue to talk about uh, the work of people like James Hansen and uh, what's-his-face, the other guy who's wrong every single time and predicted <laughs> the West Side Highway in New York would Ehrlich? be underwater by... Is yeah, Paul Ehrlich. Yeah. Ehrlich, Paul yeah. Ehrlich. Yeah. Yeah. That guy is... At one point, he said Britain wouldn't exist. It'd be underwater by, I think, 2000. Mm. Is it the year 2000 yet? Is it? I yeah, don't know. It's I don't, not. I, don't know. That I guess not. Math it's it's not, not right now. You know, he'd be, uh, I don't know, embarrassed or uh, drummed out of his position because he's never right about anything. Nope. It's amazing. And then they still take their right. predictions and run with it and try to scare the crap out of the rest of us so that we can spend all this money and get rid of capitalism, which is the ultimate goal here. They, they want to destroy capitalism. Uh, let me tell you about Birch Gold. Uh, the Biden administration's New Year goals of uh, you know taxing and spending, turning a blind eye to inflation, are those at odds with your goals of securing your savings? I dare say they probably are. That's why you need to diversify your retirement savings into gold and silver with Birch Gold. Uh, for over 5,000 years, gold has withstood inflation and geopolitical turmoil and Stock market crashes. It's always there. It's always valuable. Birch Gold makes it really easy to convert an IRA or 401k into an IRA precious metals. Here's what you do. Just text the word PAT, P-A-T, to 989898, or you could read that 989898, uh, to claim your free info kit on gold. With almost 20 years experience converting IRAs and 401ks into precious metals IRAs, Birch Gold can help you. Protect your savings today by texting PAT to the number 989-898 with an A-plus rating. With the Better Business Bureau, thousands of happy customers and countless five-star reviews, you can se secure your future with gold right now. Just text for the kit, read about it, see if it's right for you. If it makes sense, then uh, take some action. Text PAT to 989-898. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. It is. And welcome to it. Great to have you here. What is the attack on Mount Rushmore? Have you been following this at all? Oh, no. I don't think we've talked about this much. Uh, Christy Noam keeps uh, requesting that the Biden administration will allow her to do fireworks on the 4th of July. Can you imagine how cool that okay. is? Yeah. Maybe you've seen pictures. I've, yeah. saw, I've seen video of it of the fireworks over Mount Rushmore. It's spectacular. Absolutely. Love really cool. There, yeah. And and Biden keeps telling them no. They're not going to they're not going to do it. Well, yeah, and ever since Trump did a celebration there in uh, July of 2020, it's been under attack to the point where very much its very existence is in question to the point where yes. yeah. They yes. They're talking about blowing it up. Yeah. Some have suggested Dynamite. Uh, how about no? <laughs> Mount Rushmore. I mean, look, I'm all wow. for you know switching out a couple of the presidents that they've chosen for that sure. monument. Well, one especially. <laughs> Roosevelt needs to go. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you put Barack Obama back up. There okay. Instead, you know, there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> More contemporary. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. And people just love him. They just love him. The and if you're going to put Barack up there, you might as well at least throw in Michelle. You know, have the two of Absolutely. them Absolutely. there. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. So they've had to in introduce legislation now to yes. protect it. Yeah. They're they're trying to make sure no that altered. it's not destroyed, not altered, not blown so up. So what's the problem with the fireworks? Is that we're celebrating our independence and it's on indigenous people's land or something? Yes. I think yeah. it bothers. It disturbs, yeah. Bothers the Native Americans. Right. I'm not no. sure why. Is it the noise? I don't. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Does it light up? Do the coyotes get uh, spooked? Spooked a little bit for Maybe. a couple hours? It's possible. Yeah. Win a war, make the mm -hmm. rules. Mm -hmm. The end. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just, uh, what, is but, that not I mean, right? I mean, more casinos. Isn't that how it give? works? Yes. Uh, we, we, Look, we you give, win a war, you make the rules, and I don't want to lose this culture war. 
to this out of control democratic leadership in this country. So mm. you know, nah, let's not alter it. Really? And let's. Uh, and the other wow. part of that is uh, you can't change its name. It has to stay uh, on the maps as such as it is now. And there's a whole bunch of stuff there to protect it. And, uh, you know, mm-hmm. like where the motivations behind it, uh, probably not the best. I mean, Calvin Coolidge didn't even like Mount Rushmore. Uh, it's, but now it's there, and uh, <laughs> I think we uh, leave it alone. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, that's a good safety tip, actually. And I mean, we built it to save all our stuff back there underneath it, right? Isn't that what the documentary the, showed us? The gold? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the documentary Sorry, that's a showed issue. us. That's right. Oh! <laughs> but but yeah. you remember these words? Uh, and Barack knows that we are going to have to make sacrifices. We are going to have mm-hmm. to change our conversation. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to change our traditions, our, traditions, our history. Our we're going to have to move into, into a, a different place. Different place. Oh, yeah. And they're doing that. Well, we have done that. And and they we want to continue that. that Past tense now. Moved. Blowing up Mount Rushmore. That's another way to change our history. Change our traditions. Man, they are. I mean, Biden is trying to put the finishing touches on everything Obama started. I mean, they've torn down all kinds of statues and put up that beautiful ML, MLK statue in he, Boston. Yeah, the one where he's the, holding a, a giant That's uh, the embrace. Thing. It's no, it's the embrace. It's okay. he and the wife. <laughs> all right. He and his wife. His wife was shaped in an unusual way. Oh, no, way. I'm just saying. No, no, it's I've, an seen, I've it's seen the, the picture. other angle. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the picture. I have too. This is something I, that, I like, that, that yeah. people like me who have no artistic creativity whatsoever going on with them try to emulate something, yeah. and it ends up looking like what we have in Boston now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if you have the picture that? of that, by the way, Kayla. Wait, 10 million video. bucks for that? Is that what it was? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. it was 10 yeah. million. And, and it was yeah. a hug, like where he's got the his embrace. arms yeah, yeah, the, like this. And, the real and, picture is them, you know, is the embrace. And that's, if you look at it at different angles, it still looks terrible. But It's <laughs> like they ran out of, of, of bronze. It's going to mm-hmm. look good with bird poop all over it, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, I can't wait for that. And again, as we pointed out the other day, it fits right in with communist goal number, I believe it was 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there should be a paper of the communist goals in one of those drawers. There is a paper uh, of the communist goals. I know we were looking for it the other day. And and that's the most flattering angle that you have up there right now, Kayla. That's the. There it is. That's that's Uh, that thing under his hands is his. Well, wife, that's, Coretta. That's just a different her, angle. Her, her right arm, right, or, or, or his. <laughs> no, it's not, no, that's his right arm. That's no, just a bad angle. And that's her hands. It's just a bad angle. Just a, just a bad angle. angle. Okay. That angle is the one that looks. Jeffy, especially... Jeffy's not in the ro- in the mood to play. <laughs> yeah. It's just a bad angle. Bad angle. Look, yeah, it's what it's it art. Is. It's art. It's art. Communist goal twenty two: continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic yeah. expression. An American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings and substitute huh. shapeless, awkward, and That's meaningless awkward. forms. That's awkward. Huh. That qualifies. Yeah. That oh. does. Tell me it doesn't. That does. Nobody No, can. we did. We just no, said it did. did. You said it did. Yeah. It's just a bad angle. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, you look at it from another angle, and it looks like her face. It's really amazing. It's <laughs> it an amazing. incredible, That's yeah. an incredible optic of illusion. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> also, yesterday at Davos, Pfizer CEO Albert, uh, is it Borland? Um, uh, Borla? Borla. 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 Albert Borla. 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 B-O-U-R-L-A, something like that. Made a big announcement. Oh, did he? Big announcement. Flu vaccine based on mRNA. Oh, the studies are running. They have completely recruited. We are waiting for cases as they accumulate. means that people have been vaccinated. Placebo vaccine. And the the disease, some of them will get disease. And then we are waiting to unblind the data to see what is coming. I think we'll come in this year, in 23. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, you can't guarantee a timeline depending on the clinical trials. No, because you... your best guess, what would you think? uh, I think uh, by the first half of the year, maybe. Maybe. First half of the year. Yeah, June, July. Wow, that's right. really so exciting. How far are we away from <laughs> one vaccine that's both excited. COVID and flu together? Listen to this. First, we need to have a flu. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if we have a flu, already we started uh, uh, experiments to combine the two. Oh, uh, good. So that good. we don't yeah. lose time again. What could go uh, wrong? I think we'll, we'll come <laughs> more or less all together mm-hmm. if it is successful. Ah, it's great. <laughs> wow. In time, it'll be successful. In time. <laughs> so, 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 an annual COVID vaccine is on the way, mm-hmm. and then, and then they'll eventually COVID flu. they'll they'll yeah. combine it with a f- annual flu shot slash COVID How about COVID, COVID shot. flu, polio, mumps, hmm. rubella, 
all together. In oh, sure, one happy sure, vaccine. Sure, just leave out monkeypox. Go ahead. Okay, no, ahead. They just throw <laughs> that one in too. Hater. Throw it in. How about for the rest of my life, I don't let these mad scientists inject another thing into my body? Well, I think you're pretty picky asking for that. It is. What a baby. What, you don't want to try new things, no. Keith? Come on. Pat Gray Unleashed. Great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Got some uh, tweets to share from fake Tyler Morgan. I'm still waiting on Al Gore to give his evil climate-destroying petrodollars back to the UAE from when they bought the failing cable channel. Right. Yeah, he didn't care about that no at all. No way. Sold it for $500 billion? Five, $500 million, right? Half, was No, it half yeah, a billion? 500, yeah, $500 million. Half a billion, yeah. And he got, uh, I think he got $150 million of that. So, so it worked out pretty well so for him. So a couple bucks for each uh, mm-hmm. degree that the Earth's Temperature is. Yeah, but it showed his true commitment to the climate, didn't it? <laughs> and to it did. how much he hates fossil fuels. Because the UAE is as far from a fossil fuel nation as you can get. Well, except well, for all their fossil well. fuels that they make uh, all their money on. Uh, Rowdy Introvert tweets Gore's sweater suit, coupled with his passionate preaching, makes him look and sound like an environmental evangelist. Well, he's, yeah. He is. I mean, oh, he yeah. is. From uh, Holy Smokes, 1776, uh, when it comes to the climate communists, how many of their multiple mansions run completely off wind and solar? Every one of them. Mm, yeah. Every one of them. You remember back in the Bush days when they, I don't know, was circulating on yes. email, I know what you're the comparison between two homes, yeah. and the, the kicker was, which one is Al Gore's and which one is George Bush's? And George Bush's Crawford residence was... Way more environmentally yeah, yeah. friendly than Al Gore's. Uh, Gore had done literally nothing uh, to be more climate friendly. Well, I think he postponed a flight uh, <laughs> to a vacation down in the Caribbean. Oh, he did. Yeah, I think oh, he wow, that's that because... that's all you can ask of him, man. Yeah. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> what do? more do you want? Come on, he postponed a flight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and he, like John Kerry, takes private jets wherever he goes. And his excuse, well, I fly all over the world. <laughs> That's Kerry's, too. Yeah. Have you seen the... He's uh, not going to apologize for that. Uh, the picture yeah. of the uh, tarmac there in Davos. I did not send this in, but it is... I just... Yeah, it's it's like a dozen or so planes. private jets. Sure. Yeah, of course. And that's just a drop in the bucket to yeah. how Absolutely. many there are. Mm-hmm. Probably on uh, at that one airport location, I'll bet they've been in and out of there the oh, whole yeah, time. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because they, they don't have room for all of them. So Somebody's got to save the planet. They take off mm-hmm. and go park somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. We gotta, mm-hmm. we and I don't, I don't, we've said it a thousand times. I, I hate saying the disclaimer, but, hey, they, they can have all the private jets they want. Right. Just mm-hmm. stop bitching at me about it's having my so car. It's just so awesome yeah. how mm-hmm. that's where they gather. They pile up those hypocritical private jets to tell us, don't you dare even think about doing what we do. Yep. And if they really believed what they say, they wouldn't even consider wouldn't taking a thought. private plane anywhere. You know, you're concerned about the 160 billion tons each day <laughs> of CO2. That's right, <laughs> If you really believe that nonsense, there's no way you would contribute it to it like, like they do. Instead of thinking yourself above all of it, you would think, okay, I'm going to kill this planet if I don't stop doing this. And you would stop doing it. All right, uh, but before Albert uh, Borla sat down for an interview, he's asked uh, 29 questions by <laughs> Ezra Levant and uh, Avi Yem- Yemeni yeah. of Rebel News. And uh, He sat down with them? Check, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. They were, you're going to enjoy it. It was this. one of those okay. walking uh, interviews. Oh, okay. interview. <laughs> sure. Let's see. Mr. Borla, can I ask you, when did you know that the vaccines didn't stop transmission? How long did you know <laughs> that without saying it publicly? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Question. Question. I mean, we, we now know that the vaccines didn't <clears throat> stop transmission, but why mm-hmm. did you keep it secret? Question yeah. two. You said it was 100% effective, then 90%, then 80%, right. then 70%. But we now know that the vaccines <laughs> do not trans- stop transmission. Why did you keep that secret? Have a nice day. <laughs> I won't have a nice day <laughs> until I know the answer. <laughs> why did you keep it a secret that your vaccine... Did not stop transmission. Is it time to apologize to the world, sir? <laughs> to give refunds back to the com- countries that poured all their money into your vaccine that doesn't work, your ineffective vaccine? 
Are yeah. you not ashamed of what you've done in the last couple of years? Do you have any apologies to the public, sir? Yes. He, but he doesn't care at all. Are you proud of it? You've made millions on the backs of people's entire livelihoods. How does that feel to walk the streets as a millionaire on the backs of the regular person at home in Australia, in England, in Canada? What do you think about on your yacht, sir? <laughs> what do you think about on your private jet? Are you worried about product liability? Are you worried about myocarditis? What about the sudden deaths? Wow. What do you have to say about young men dropping dead of heart attacks every day? <laughs> Where is my security? Why won't you answer these basic questions? <laughs> Cat got his tongue. No apologies, sir. Sure. Do, do you think oh, you should be charged end. criminally dead for, end. <laughs> for Where do I go? Where do I go? Criminal behavior you've now we're obviously been back. a part of. <laughs> How much money have you personally made off the vaccine? So How many boosters do you think it'll take <laughs> for you to be happy enough with your earnings? <laughs> These are great questions. They sure no, are. They sure are. Who did you meet great with here questions. in secret? Who'd you meet with? Will you secret? disclose who you met with? Apparently not, no. Who did you pay commissions to? In the past, Pfizer has uh, paid $2.3 billion dollars in fines <laughs> for deceptive marketing. Uh -huh. Have you engaged oh, he's in that same out. conduct again? He's a little nippy out there at Davos. In the shade now, see? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you under investigation <laughs> like you were before <laughs> for your deceptive you marketing? Sir? This is awesome. Uh, I love this. This is awesome. If any other product in the world doesn't work, as promised, you get a refund. Should you not refund <laughs> to countries that laid out billions for your ineffective vaccine? Thank you. Are you used to only sympathetic media, <laughs> so you don't know how to answer any questions? Can we stop? Uh, the answer to that is yes. yes absolutely. Yes. Wow. Okay, so what do we... Well, they said, they said 29. I don't five, know. There was something that 29? I wouldn't trust my uh, oh, math over here. I was, I was too busy laughing. 29 great Those questions. Are really good questions. You imagine if he, I don't know, wasn't such an egomaniac that he thinks he can do anything and, right. and not answer to anybody. All of them. Well, there's he no actually, way he can answer those if questions. If his feet were, was hold, were held to the fire right. and he had to sit down and really explain to the people of the world uh, any of those questions, so, it so, would be yeah, compelling. When, it would when, be. when you saw that there, um, mm. that they're not accredited media, okay? Because the Davos people and Klaus Schwab is not, they're not going to allow Rebel News and real news outlets. Yeah, I'm surprised they let that to, go on. Well, no, hang long. on. So that's a public street just outside of their little um, protected uh, green right. zone, if you will, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, that's that's how you can find these people is when you catch them in that, those little brief moments where they're on the public yeah, they street. Yeah, coming. They were coming outside the barriers. At okay, the right. Beginning of that. So yeah. keep that in mind because you know, like I said, they're not accredited media. They're not allowed in there behind the curtain, so to speak. So then another lady gets an opportunity to speak with Klaus Schwab himself. Now her tactic, not as entertaining. As theirs, you you gotta just you gotta just unload. You can't try to be nice and stuff. But actually, she attempted it, and you'll watch Klaus Schwab on this, and he will say, "Which media outlet are you with?" Because if it's not part of the golden ticket, if you're not into the club, he doesn't I'm not, feel I'm not gonna obligated. Answer your yeah. questions. I know that you are trouble mm -hmm. for me. Watch this. Champion <laughs> Schwab. Chairman Schwab, uh, I'm from Japan. May I ask you for? Uh, I'm from Japan. Yeah. And may I uh, ask you for a comment? No, we're, we're on our we're no, on our way to the next thing. We're a bit late. Uh, oh, I but can just you. walk with you, you and then ask. I can walk with you. We're gonna I, we're gonna. Can I just walk with you? But thank you. Uh, now watch. She goes. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Let me make sure uh, she's uh, not with. Which uh, media are you with? Uh, I am an independent journalist from yeah, Japan. Yeah. No, thank you very much. No real questions. No. We're good. Klaus no. trying to be all incognito. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, mm. But I, I want to ask just, just one more, one question. Uh, uh, okay. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Hold on. Now she keeps walking with him, but 
she's not playing it like uh, Ezra and Avi were. These two security guys are really yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. No, sorry, we're in a big sorry. rush. We've got so many things tonight. But, but for us, but it's, thank you. it's very uh, I know, precious moment. I know, I know. Yeah. You can, I, you can <laughs> so many people stop yeah, and that yeah. if you were to stop for everything, yeah, we win. That's the unfortunate. Yeah. So I'm very sorry, but thank uh, you. But thank you for trying. Do, do you know the thank voice you. that uh, worry about globalism? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Wait, I'm you get one question, and you're like, people are worried about globalism? Come on. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Not see, quite as good. Right, I was going to say, a tale of two questioners. But they, they Interesting, believe, though. They believe they're above. Absolutely. Uh, answering anybody's questions. Because oh, you're, you're just a flea that is annoying me right now by mm -hmm. flitting all around my face. Uh, somebody needs to just put their foot on you and squish you like a bug. Because that's what you really are, you know? Yeah, that's what you, you really are to them. Thank you. They're so far above us that uh, they don't. They don't need. They don't need to answer any question. Like, hey, are you concerned about the ineffectiveness of your stupid vaccine yeah. that is you claimed was ninety five percent effective in the beginning? <laughs> You're gonna give a refund you, to the country's billions yeah, of right. dollars. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah, when will you be satisfied with how many millions you have? Uh, do you have time for one last quick uh, clip from Davos? It's a thirty second clip. You'll remember we played that video of Klaus saying, "Look." Got to control the internet because uh, it's going to be really bad. It's going to make COVID nineteen pale in comparison. Well, we got yeah. we we had this discussion yesterday in Davos, and here <laughs> is what's predicted for you in the next two years. We're here today to share the findings of the World Economic Forum's uh, Global Security Outlook mm. uh, Report 2023. Go ahead, Jurgen. This is a result of uh, research in collaboration with the right. forum's communities okay. and our partner Accenture, which uh, we've uh, interviewed and sought input from over 300 executives globally. Okay. Okay. The most striking finding What's that we found is right. that 93% of cyber leaders <laughs> and 86% of cyber business leaders right. believe yeah. that the geopolitical instability oh my. makes a catastrophic yes. e cyber event likely oh. in the next two years. Oh, it's, likely. Right. it's likely in the there next you go. two they years. Give it to that guy so we, don't, we make fun just, of him instead of what he's actually just, telling us. Yeah, you right. just, just remember that in the next two years when we have, have a, a catastrophic cyber attack. Catastrophic, uh, trans right. catastrophic cyber attack. But when attack. you say it like this, Keith, it doesn't sound as frightening. <laughs> That's, I, I so, concur. So yeah, there's a, there's a really good chance for in the next two years we're going to have a really bad cyber well, attack. And you're going to need someone to look after us and uh -huh. protect us right. and the entire planet. As a matter of fact, we're going to... The World Economic Forum. We're going to allow the memory of what I'm saying right now to die down a bit, and then we're going to cause it ourselves. Wait, what? Uh, just so we can... Uh, that was weird. You, you know, have mic, more control. Your mic is on, sir. Oh, wait, what? We, yeah. Oh, so, uh, never mind. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what do they have planned for us? I don't know, but... This is what they did with the pandemic, too. Yeah. They all started predict predicting a pandemic is coming. A Boy. pandemic is Who inevitable. Was the first one We're to predict have one. that pandemic, too? Mm. With, with incredible specificity. Seems like it started with Anthony and ended in Fauci. Didn't oh, it? all yeah. I had yeah. was uh, little trail. Sure. Yeah. Well, that was in my pronounced? Head. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, all right. Let me tell you about Keeps. Uh, what what a great product this is. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, you become sensitive over time with your with your hair falling out maybe you have a receding hairline perhaps. why are you looking at me with maybe you got a receding hairline and a bald spot maybe you got you know the <laughs> male pattern baldness it just it sucks and it can start before you're 35 and so by the time you're 45 55 65 uh you're you got a skull that's it you got the skull <laughs> cap <laughs> so if you'd like to avoid that get a hold of keeps because hair loss is it just not good and it makes you self-conscious conscious and so don't shave it and have a bald head the rest of your life save it with keeps they have clinically proven fda approved hair treatments available online and once you hook up with them you can message your keeps doctor 24 hours a day seven days a week they're, they're really great at customer service and they have great products if the balding jokes are wearing thin, join the thousands of guys who have saved their hair or regrown hair like Keith has with Keeps. Visit Keeps.com slash Pat. Get 50% off your first order. K-E-E-P-S. Keeps.com slash Pat. That's Keeps.com slash Pat. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. 
Uh, Keith, walk us through this okay. video about uh, new pronouns, because yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we need it. You do. Right? You, you need you need guidance here. So, Kayla, can we put up the uh, the image that says, my name is Cypress? Do you have that available uh, for this? Did so, her there? name is... Okay, so, oh, I'm so, sorry. Okay, so here, here we go. So, the name is right. Cypress. So, what happened was, somebody they, commented under a thread and said, my name is Cypress. I use they, clown, she pronouns. But nobody has ever actually used clown, clown self for me. Now... I think the consensus is this is someone that's just joking around, right? Mm -hmm. Like mocking the whole pronoun yeah. thing. Why don't you call me a clown? Clown self, blah, blah, blah. Well, a, an individual who is a freak of nature saw this comment and decided to make a video about it because, my goodness, you can't be too inclusive. Pat, check this out. This is Cypress. And Clown mentioned not having people use clown or clown self pronouns for clown. And so in this situation, I would make sure that I exclusively use clown pronouns to talk about Cyprus. So <laughs> Cyprus knows that I see clown self for who clown is. And I <sighs> want clown to be hearing those pronouns. Uh, we are in hell. That's, That's funny. all I can That's funny, conclude though. from what this. What is that? So, so someone wow. mocking the whole pronoun thing, and that chick decides, you know what? I see you. I see you. I'm going to make a video about this. I wish you that's this. a chick. Uh, Excuse that me, it's man. Individual. It is man. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeffy. I think you're so correct. That individual wanted us to take clown, <laughs> yeah. clown self, Cypress. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, life is a parody of itself. I mean, this world is insane, man. Wow. It is a clown show. <laughs> Help us, man. Help us. Ah, wow. The aliens aren't interested in us at this point. We are damaged goods. You know, just the, my name is Cypress, I use they, clown, <laughs> she pronouns. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Right. But nobody has ever actually used clown, clown self for me. Oh, that is sad. See, that's sad, funny. Sad. That's funny. That's ah. like something you would text back to a Democratic fundraiser that's, that's right. texting you. But but then somebody takes it seriously. Absolutely. And <laughs> Sees I see they I see clown, clown them. I see clown she. self. Okay, whatever. I just want you to know I see you, clown <laughs> self. Seriously, we can't survive no. as a society, as a no. civilization with no. this kind of nonsense. <laughs> uh, you know, people always say, well, this is how it started in Rome. There is no way Rome <laughs> had clown pronouns. <laughs> I don't know. Worried about your own pronouns. You try or anybody else's. Try that, and and they'll throw you in a Roman Colosseum with uh -huh. a lion. Yes. Throw the clown in there. We're so far beyond Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Rome was a picnic. It was a bonfire to roast marshmallows on. That's what that was compared to what we're experiencing right now. Oh man. <laughs> Ah, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. We still have just. I mean, we haven't even scratched the surface mm -hmm. today. Uh, lots to share with you. Hang on, it's coming up. Uh, if you'd like to join the discussion, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three is the number to call. By the way, got to tell you, uh, we've had to postpone today's off the record. What? Uh yeah, yeah. Where you could ask, uh, you know, it's a QA and a session for like 30 to 45 minutes. Wow. Really fun to do and, and fun to interact with you. But uh, oh, I have I to fill in for Glenn today. So Update my alert. When is it going to yeah, be? Update, update your alert. Update sometime alert. in February. Huh. <laughs> so sometime. Can, mm -hmm, sometime. Sometime. I'll try. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to set that alert up. But you just want to say it's <laughs> this day? <laughs> I kinda this do. far from I kinda do, yeah. the actual day? <laughs> huh. That's impossible. You couldn't possibly put it together on a specific date. Okay. This quickly. I've set my alert now sometime. All right. In sometime in February. So every day in February, you should have your alert go off. That's what you, Is today the day? <laughs> uh, all right. Got some tweets here. Global North elitist tweets. I genuinely want to know how many new anti-vaxxers were created because of what they did That's with the COVID bad. lethal, in, uh, yeah, lethal injection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would not be surprised to see a 10% or greater increase. No kidding. I mean, there's some people that just will not do anything. Now. If you haven't, yeah. if you haven't gotten it by now, you're not going to. No, but I think talked about he, I that think yesterday. This person is saying that uh, no, no vaccine. You're not doing anything to me. I don't mm. trust anything mm -hmm. anymore. I think now. 
So they've hurt themselves they, badly. They've with created this. a whole new market of sure anti-vaxxers. Have. Yeah, they have. Yeah, I'll and they try to make it out as if those people are crazy, and you're just so off the charts, right-wing kooks. And it's it's legitimate. It's a legitimate concern after all the problems that we have seen the last couple of years with people dying suddenly, all the heart attacks, all the myocarditis. You can't say there's nothing to it because we know there is. Specifically with the COVID vax, no question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Hippie Patriot from the Rainbomb Forest. Wow. I loved the footage of CEO of Pfizer getting grilled. That was awesome. Uh, Yeah, it it really was. was. It It really was. I pray that someday he will be held uh, in court being forced to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Now, that would be nice. However, uh, they were granted protection from that so i don't know that that can happen um because that was one of the first things they did when they when they went into the vaccine mode when they were doing the uh what did they call it it was the star trek thing like uh or star wars warp speed warp speed speed, yeah yeah so they wanted it done so fast they had to give them some protections uh zelda lilbert 10 tweets nothing says guilt more than no comment or not answering. Oh, that is not true. <laughs> uh, what a surprise you would feel that way. Huh? <laughs> that is, nothing is farther from the truth. And to you, <laughs> that would also apply to I plead the fifth. That does not mean you're It's guilty. a law. It's a le- you don't it's have lo- to comment. It's, con- it's a constitutional <laughs> Thank concept. you. You don't have to comment. Uh, so um, <laughs> you talked about, you mentioned uh, Operation Warp Speed. Well, former President Donald Trump, um, he's still proud of it. I mean, right up to right now, he's still proud of it. He was asked about it uh, recently. Yeah. He claims COVID-19 vaccines are broadly... Wait. Oh, he's dismissed the claims. Yeah. And, and you know he has. He has been I mean, the whole time. His thing, right? Yeah. Yes. But uh, he asserted that his own role in the development of the vaccines may have saved... 100 million lives. I mean, maybe maybe more. Maybe. Maybe maybe it's 100 billion. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Trump touted the effectiveness of Operation Warp Speed, of which we just spoke. (sighs) His administration's program to accelerate the development of COVID-19 vaccines and therapeutics uh, during an interview on the podcast The Water Cooler. Hmm. Host David Brody asked the former president if he would acknowledge that the vaccines... We're not as safe or as effective mm. as we were told by the medical community at the time. Okay. I was able to get uh, something approved that, you know, that has proven to have saved a lot of lives. He said, ignoring the question to weigh in about the anti-vax narrative. Since people say that I saved 100 million lives worldwide. People say it, man. People say it. <laughs> I have not, literally, I have not heard a single person say that. Have you? Have you heard people say, oh, the, Donald Trump saved 100 million lives? Um, <laughs> yeah, who, who's his audience for this, by the way? Does he think that, that liberals are going to hear this, that, 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 who still love the vaccine, and go, you know what? I never did give Donald Trump credit for this. Shame on me. There's no way they would I do that. I need to vote I mean, that's for That's all him. he wants is just credit for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Trump touted the speed uh, of vaccine development under his program, saying he was, quote, Able to get the vaccines done in nine months, as opposed to what he claimed would have been five to 12 years. And that's true. The average, I think, is 10 years. And we we legitimately claimed that it was darn near a miracle that they got it done. And yeah. because we, yeah, we w- did. believed what we had been told about it yes. at the time, right? which we now know it wasn't quite the truth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Former president said that it was very important to note that he did not order lockdowns or a federal vaccine mandate and had never forced anyone to get the shots. He also pl- praised Republican governors for refusing mandates and lockdowns in their state level. Oh, man. you He lashed out at Brian Kemp, who was the first one to, to open up their state. So stop. Don't change history. Brody, then the host of the podcast, uh, pushed Trump to declare whether he had concerns about the safety of those vaccines. 
Okay. Okay. So we try it again. Try it again. I'm going to ask you the same question in a slightly different way. <laughs> That's a good tactic. Uh, Trump said that he always had concerns, but argued that some reports were saying the vaccines were the greatest thing that's God, ever happened. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, bro. Always with the hyperbole. Always. By the way, mice who received uh, more than four COVID vaccine jabs uh, uh, had a collapse in their ability to fight the coronavirus, uh, according to new research. So, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so that's just now coming out. Uh, Alex Berenson reporting that. He said, Trump said, you have to understand, there are the pros and cons. Some reports, that's the greatest thing that's ever happened. And... We saved tens of millions of lives. Uh, then you'll read other million. reports that say there were some problems with the vaccine, but relatively small numbers. Sure. Okay. But, you know, you have many reports <laughs> that say the I vaccines save tens of millions of lives. We got it. That without the vaccines, you would have had a thing where perhaps 100 million people died. Mm. Okay, so it would have gone from just over 1 million Mm-hmm. To a hundred times that number. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. I don't know. You don't? I'm, I'm skeptical on those. Uh, so uh, exciting news. Donald Trump, Trump is stats. preparing to come back to Twitter and Facebook. So. I thought he wasn't going to. That he was uh, happy with Truth Social. Well, Truth Social, I think he has uh, five huh. million followers where he has many, many, many more times. Yeah, but amount. I mean, it's look, Truth Social is going great and it's wonderful and it's one of the best social media platforms ever built. Has it saved ever built. tens of millions of it's, lives? It's marvelous. Uh, it's it's marvelous. Okay. I want to see if I uh, tell you something. It's but marvelous. there's no way I said from the very beginning if he were to be allowed back on Twitter, there's no way he says no to that. <laughs> Let's see. There's no way. Yeah, 87.7 yeah. million followers on Twitter. Oh, wow. I, I think it's five. Wow. I, I think I saw something that said five million on but, Truth. I have no idea. But whatever. I mean, even if he had 87 million on Truth, he would still come back to Twitter because Twitter was such a force for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, mm-hmm. and he could, and he still believes that it will be a force for him. Now, people are claiming they're going to boycott Twitter with ads and whatever if he comes back. Jeez, oh, okay. whatever. Yeah, it, but go ahead. That Knock kind of person out. that would that would boycott Twitter because Donald Trump is on it is the person I don't want on Twitter. So whatever. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's a good point. This could be a cleansing agent. Yes, <laughs> I like that. Yes. Uh, Wow. In the NHL over the weekend, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. (laughs) You want to see this new uniform that they had for? They had a pride night recently. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see. Do we have the the video? You got the little rainbow colors there. Oh, nice. All right. right. So, of course, that's cute. Everybody's super happy about participating in that. And if you don't, if you're not super happy about participating... You're a piece of garbage, <laughs> and you need to be removed from the planet. So if you don't want to play gay hockey... Yeah, there's no room for you on this planet. There's mm-hmm. no room. Well, you're not playing gay, gay hockey. You're just wearing a rainbow <laughs> oh, jersey. Okay. You're just celebrating. Yeah. You're celebrating gayness, or whatever, I guess. Pride. Pride, pride. yeah. Pride. Gay pride. pride. No, gay just pride. simple pride. Not... No, you're celebrating gay pride. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been the told rainbow it, is for gay pride. I've been told it was for everybody. Yeah, I thought no. it was all-encompassing. LGBTQIA+. Well, everybody <laughs> is supposed to be proud for them. I see. But you can't be proud of your oh, own okay. sexuality. That's okay. stupid. Uh, and <laughs> hateful. It is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> would be stupid. Yeah, so what did the coach say about it? Because he was asked, of course, about the one guy on the team. The one guy who, uh-huh. chose not to wear it. And so you know what a bad person he is. Um, John, turning away from the game for a second, um, Ivan Provorov wasn't in warm-ups before the game. Um, there was a report that he wasn't in warm-ups because he didn't want to wear the, the Pride jersey for Pride Night. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I, I think the organization has sent out a release regarding the organization, the, the beliefs that we have the uh, beliefs and how we feel about it, and really right. a great night. Um, great with night. Provy, uh, yeah, great night. Uh, he uh, he's being true to himself and to his religion. This has to do with his belief in his religion, uh-huh. and it's one thing I respect about Provy. He's always true to himself, uh, and so that's that's where we're at with that. That's oh, a, is there that's any a fine consideration line on your Good part point. when he chose not to wear the jersey to not Shut play him up. as a result? What no, do you want from no. him? I'm not going to answer many more questions on it because I I just think it's unfair. Uh, I know you probably talked to Pro. We had your but, stupid pride night. Um, what do you want? Yeah, that, 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 I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I I think it was a great night in celebrating. Thank you. Uh, 
mm -hmm. organization has put out a, a statement and <laughs> they put I'm not going to get too deep into the conversation. Uh, those are the comments as far as Provi. I'm we, done. We talked well, as a well, team and with Provi. I'm done. Okay. And that, that's where we're at. It, I mean, if you put out a statement, <laughs> that's all that needs to be done, right? <laughs> So I mean, move on. We, I already correct. put out a statement <laughs> to see the progressive, <laughs> I'm sorry, the radical leftists who are now all over oh, sports man. media. That's Yesterday, man. I mean, it was, let's send him to the minor leagues. Let him learn some respect for others. Anyway, the, the press gaggle gathered around uh, Ivan Provorov uh, after that game, and they were like, yeah, so what's up with you not conforming? Here's his everybody, I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Good, man. Good. Any, uh, like I said, that's all I'm going to comment on that. Um, if you have any hockey questions, <laughs> I would like I would answer those. Just uh, of course I don't. What's your religion? Hmm? If I, if I, if I your religion? Russian Orthodox. Russian Orthodox. All right, so we're done. Game tonight, Ivan. Now uh, she's asking about the game. There we go. See, there we go. That's how you do it. You get your money for nothing and your chicks for, for free. free. That's the way you do it. That right ain't there. working. I am so tired of yep. people being forced into celebrate somebody else's sexuality. It was a great night. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Ivan Provorov doesn't have to. Right. You don't have to do this. I don't have to wear gay pride jerseys just because you decide it's gay pride night. No, I'm not going to participate in that. Are you kidding? I, I'm i not going to celebrate it when I don't believe uh, that it's the right thing to do. So why would I celebrate that activity? What One of the... Um, I, it's madness what's happened here. Yeah, one of the angles that the leftists took yesterday on social media is, so why... Are the same people who are against Colin Kaepernick kneeling? Why are they all for Ivan here in this case? Well, and I, I love this. It made me think of Stu when I read this guy's tweet. I think this sums it up beautifully. Um, Provorov is principled. Kaepernick pulled his stunt after he got benched for Blaine Gabbert because he sucks at football and was looking for attention and perfecting his craft as a professional victim. Yeah, and that's just it. Ivan's not going out there for politics. This is a religion. This is a mm -hmm. belief. Respect it. I thought we were supposed to coexist. Are we not supposed to? No. Are we? Is that not the thing? No, not we're, by a long oh, way. Oh, because see, that's what I've been. That's been ground into my head for the last mm -hmm. two or three decades. I know that we're supposed to respect everybody's beliefs and religion, but apparently not that doesn't anymore. apply. No, not when well, it comes it to Pride Night. Not Leave him well. alone. That's all he's asking to be is let. Left alone. They they do respect your beliefs as long uh, as you believe exactly, exactly like they, they do. do. That's right. That's when they respect your beliefs. Seriously, they have no respect for anybody who opts out of your big cel celebration because these people do sex a certain way. Do they celebrate my sexuality? No. So why do I have to <laughs> celebrate theirs? Ivan Provorov is not saying, look at me. <sighs> look at me. I'm going to go over here and do this He's and not. focus on me. He's just saying, I don't want to participate. Now leave me alone. They but we can't to. do that in this society anymore. It's no, madness. No, can't. Well, that is maddening. To shut down the Russian Orthodox Church, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I, you, I, I know that's just an aside from you, mm -hmm. but look for the picket or or pressing the the russian orthodox church to make a statement on this are you are you hateful know, like uh, someone know, that belongs the, to your faith the church they'll they'll force the church into making a statement unbelievable that's you were exactly right i think and you then they'll excoriate <laughs> and they know what the answer is mm -hmm. but they're going to excoriate them for it anyway because you can't believe anything but what they believe right that it's not only is it Fine, but it's great. It's better well, it than was, what everybody else it was does. It's a great night. They put out. It's a great they night. Out. They put out. <laughs> yeah, they put it out. Oh, Lord. statement. We are, we are done. And if you put a out a statement, then <laughs> leave it alone. You put, shut you up, put we're out, done. Put out the statement already. <laughs> leave me alone. It's out there. Okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Put that in your pipe. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Smoke it. Or your toque. Put it in your toque. <laughs> All right. Tragically, every minute unborn babies' futures are literally sucked out of existence. But amid all that darkness, there's a light that is shining 
It's the work that Preborn is doing. Preborn introduces mothers considering abortion. They introduce them to their unborn babies through an ultrasound. Man, is that powerful. Uh, it's powerful for anybody, but if you're considering abortion, it really drives it home that that is life I mean, inside you know how, of you. You know how important it is for anyone to see that ultrasound. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. Which is why 80% of the time they choose life after seeing it. So it it's such a uh, easy thing to do. Just show them the ultrasound. 80% of the time they change your mind. And then when they do, Preborn goes into work to provide maternity clothes, diapers, counseling if they need it, and a lot more for up to two years. And they do all that for free because of your donations. So whatever you can donate to this cause is greatly appreciated. But they're completely dependent on you, the pro-life community. For $28, you can rescue a baby's life. If you can't afford that, then, you know, whatever. If it's $5 or a dollar, it would certainly help. $140 if you've got the means. Sponsors five ultrasounds. And now through your um, match, through a match, your gift is doubled. So whatever you donate is going to be matched uh, by another donor. 100% of your donation will go towards saving babies' lives. And the goal is, again, this year, 50,000 babies. So please join us. Dial pound 250. Say the keyword baby. That's pound 250-250. Uh, keyword baby. Or donate securely at preborn.com slash pat. Every two minutes on the ones all day long this morning. Well, all morning... Today probably won't do it in the afternoon, mm. but uh, really, but yeah, I'll how am I supposed show. to get home? But the- I don't know. <laughs> You're on your own on the way home. <laughs> Holy cow! So, covered you all on the way to work, though. <laughs> yeah. So all right. put that in your pipe and smoke it. Take got, the back roads, whatever you do, Jeffy. Uh, got some tweets here. Benjamin Flensborg tweets. I actually feel sad for the normal residents of Davos. They have to have these loons in their town every year. <laughs> I I used to live and work close to Davos. Oh, cool. In Schur? Sure. Chur? Or Church, C-H-U-R? Yeah, it's right there. They don't deserve this. Although, it's right there. If you, if, you, if you know where Switzerland is, it's right there. <laughs> okay. If this is Switzerland, so it looks, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> mm. Switzerland looks a lot I've, like Michigan. No, Michigan's this way. Right. I feel like... This is Michigan. Huh. I, okay. I, I, I feel like uh, Davos is going to start building underground parking. With the way these guys are having to go out they on the street. They said there been reports mm. the restaurants are doing good. They're fine. Everybody's happy. So back off. Uh-huh. They're doing well. Rescheduled giblets. Operation Warp Speed has morphed into Warped Mind. Yeah. 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 Rowdy Introvert tweets, uh, as someone noted, Ivan Provorov should file a workplace sexual harassment suit against the Flyers and the NHL. Huh. Ah, I like great. it. Great. I like that. That's a really good idea. Well, they're not. Yeah, he just wants to play hockey. Yeah, they're not yeah. really. Pressured. He just wants to play hockey. Yeah, they're not hurting him. It's it's all the liberal do-gooders that think you have to go along with every single thing they want you to go along with. From ZLB, I wish we could have have we could have sports without all the social political hoopla forced on the athletes. Oh no! Well, good luck. But yeah. I mean, the Flyers actually, as far as I know, mm-hmm. the Flyers were like okay. Mm-hmm. I find yeah. Marxist, yeah. Marxists though they're going to their goal is to ruin everything, and they're doing a pretty good job they of sure it. Sure are <laughs> they are. Frankly, they're really good at it. Uh, Lone Wolf twenty nine sixty five. I'm sick of pride. <laughs> when do Whoa. we get to celebrate gluttony and sloth? I mean, oh, I celebrate it every day. Some would say that happens every, every day. day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So uh, some of us are already celebrating. Yeah, uh, and that's nonstop. That's nonstop. Uh, yeah. We don't even talk about it that much, but we do celebrate yeah, we it do. every day. Yeah, we do. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three with your uh, comments, questions, suggestions. By the way, the comment and question thing today. Uh, what do we call it? Just, Off the record. Uh, it's been delayed. So hmm. fill in it for Glenn. Glenn, uh, again, please keep him in your prayers. He and his family. You know, I think a lot of us, all of us, think he leads a pretty sweet life, and you know. In most ways, he does. But man, has that family been besieged mm. by trials lately. So um, it'd be great if you could keep them in your prayers. Uh, Minnesota House of Representatives Sandra Feist was recently speaking about the uh, state 
considering pro- providing funding for menstrual products in boys' bathrooms. Of course. Finally. It's, it's a tale as old as time. How many tampons do you <laughs> put in the boys' room? Tale as old as time. We, it's Minnesota that's done this? Minnesota. Because every time I see, I see, I saw a headline that said it's Minnesota, and then the story says Michigan. Mm. And then I saw a oh, story really? that said Michigan, and the story oh, was hell. Minnesota. What's her name again? So I... Uh, anyway, it doesn't Sandra matter Feist. because it's still F-E-I-S. Here, watch this. We're going to run out of time. Watch Here this. We go. Minnesota, uh, by the way. Vote okay. No on this amendment um, for a few reasons. Okay. Um, Talk to practical, us. financial, social, emotional. Practical, um, financial, first, social, uh, emotional. First, there are a lot of schools that are moving towards gender-neutral bathrooms. <laughs> and if we add female, it might become obsolete very quickly. Um, second, not all students who menstruate are female. Uh, um, no. We need to make sure that all students no. have access they to these are. products. All of them um, who menstruate are obviously female. Less, all of them. Um, How dare you? Female menstruating students, and therefore their God, usage I, I, will be much lower. I can't and that take was it. actually. They're insane. Um, calculated into the cost of this um, and how much we decided to fund it. Okay. And so we, we do not expect that the non-female menstruating students will use non-female um, these menstruating. products as oh, much you. as the, the students using female Because they're not but it's important to have them there. Um, and that brings Dang. me to the, just the social emotional. Okay, I can't oh, listen to her anymore. We haven't done social emotional. She's not done. We have, she was we've saying. only covered practical and financial. She wanted to get to social and emotional, Pat. I can't. I'm you emotionally drained. <laughs> you denied her the opportunity. I did. Yeah. Yeah. She Hater. drained me of all emotions. It's white patriarchy. E- except seething, seething anger. These what, what are people the... are They're incredibly certifiable. They're yeah, they're and insane. They in positions of power. Yeah. That's 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 where our society is. These people aren't just insane and on the fringes of society. They are in positions of power like the Minnesota state representative. Are you? Mm. <laughs> it's unsalvageable at this point. It was fun though, yeah. right? While it lasted. Yeah, it was a good ride. Was we it? had a decent 246 year yeah. run. So now that it's over, we just celebrate what we had. Mm-hmm. Be thankful for that. That was a good time. Yeah. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. That, I mean, elected officials are now. Playing this game that uh, boys, that males might need feminine hygiene products in their bathroom. And so we're going to provide those in the state of Minnesota, as Sandra Feist was just talking about. I feel like this is not the first time, though, right? It might be the first time that state representatives have been setting it up, right? It was school boards that we're talking about Mm -hmm. before, right? Maybe. I don't know. Either way, the insanity just keeps going up the chain. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, it's absolutely uh, incredible. And it, it leads to uh, this. Tampons in the boys' room. Tampons in the boys' room. That's all I have so far. So it's far. A work in progress. It's a work in progress. Well, yeah. That's a yeah. good start, though. But tampons in the boys' room uh, <laughs> absolutely has to be the next parody song we do here. On <laughs> uh, Pat Tell Records. Oh, man. <laughs> it's incredible. How I wish it were a joke. I know. I know. Maybe there's a line like, science, don't you fill me up with your rules. Everybody <laughs> knows you can bleed from the family jewels. Oh, right? oh I like wow. That. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Something like that. Write that down, uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Coming soon. Uh, to a podcast near you. Uh, all right, just to get away from the madness for a second, um, I, I guess there was there's a big uh, wheel of fortune thing going oh, around. Oh yeah, yeah. So I somebody <sighs> spelled out the whole board and yeah. couldn't, and they still right. couldn't, still get still couldn't it. get it. So this has been making the rounds in the last twenty four hours. <laughs> Embarrassing. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I I think it's from because. Uh, uh, a, a great listener here to the program, uh, Preston Baines, he sent me mm-hmm. this note that says, because he sent me the video, he said that he thinks it's from April of 2014, but it That's is ago, it yeah. is circulating like it's brand new, and I've never mm. seen it, and wow, this is a tough one to take for him. Okay. Spin, Pat. It's college. 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 All right, all right Indiana, yeah. going to do a, oh, a million bucks if he solves it. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, four L's, yeah. Four L's Pat, baby. So, so, so Pat is thinking. Pat's thinking. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. He's excited for him. Six fifty. Why? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, we're gonna get this one. Oh, I know it. I know it, Pat. I know it. Five hundred. Uh, G. 
One G. One G. Boy, you're risking it. Keep spinning, bro. I know. Stop. Yeah, I mean, come on. You know it's mythological hero Achilles. Yeah. Right? Sure. I mean, and he knows it. Okay, okay now. He's, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Completely spelled out. I saw. Oh, well, that'd be a good idea, yeah. All right. Mythological hero Achilles. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I'll solve. Yeah. Mythological hero Achilles. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, now watch the guy. Watch the Indiana kid. Watch his face. Just watch uh, his face. Well, when it comes to names, uh, well, well, I can't remember the name. And uh, even though the letters are up there, uh, <laughs> because you have He wants to be no. anywhere else oh, but there. Oh, my gosh. How's he doing Texas now? Texas a did that. Nine yeah. years removed from Are them. you kidding me? What what was his word? What was Achilles? Achilles. 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 Can you can you can you isolate it to that spot Achilles. or try? Achilles. Uh, unreal. Mythological hero. You know Achilles? <laughs> no, it's right next to no. TGIF. <laughs> no, no. It's oh, Achilles. No. He could have won a million dollars. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Mythological hero Achilles. 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 Help us. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And he had the million dollar thing. It, yeah. it, it he would have won a million dollars if would, he could have just said Achilles. It would appear that simple pronunciation is his Achilles, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Where's See what you did there? My See uh, what you did. Uh, you know, uh, like that uh, one? Uh, uh, also, isn't today Bob Barker's birthday? Uh, speaking of game shows, man. Bob Barker, 99 years of age. Happy man. birthday, Happy Bob. Happy birthday, mm. Bob. <laughs> Still kicking. Shh. And pushed around the so social media so is down. just uh, littered with uh, memorable Clips from Absolutely. The Price is Right. And Jeffy, I think you sent one in. This one mm. is my favorite, and it's making the rounds as this is why Bob quit. Uh, <laughs> the Price is Right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you'll see why. In the price of the car, there are five numbers. Using all five numbers, write down the price of that automobile. You right. just got to write down the numbers, on, those Joy. five numbers, in some order. Okay. Right, Joy. 19,000 watt. Okay. 19,000 watt, Joy. <laughs> 19, oh, you can no. use the one twice. You can't do that. 19,000 uh, what? 19,000. Now, what, please tell me, do you have here? Oh, 19,300. <laughs> five <laughs> numbers. You get 1930. Where's the two? 19,302. So oh, there we go. No, Joy. No, oh, now, no. Now, come on. Come on now, come on. Let's go. Oh, you lose no. your turn if you don't write. Not 13,000 no. what? Oh. 19,000. All right, Boy, write it out now. Yeah. Finish it off. You use the okay, one twice. The one twice. Oh, okay, now, now she got a two. Okay, okay. Now, so you, now you get a one again. One here oh, how twice. dumb is this person? Oh my gosh. <laughs> here there you go. The five numbers. Okay. Using those five numbers, write it down. 13,000 what? <laughs> <laughs> Joy gonna be walking on what? That's what you think. Nineteen thousand. That's what you think. Nineteen thousand two hundred. You've used the one twice. <laughs> you've used the one thousand. twice. Nine, you've used the one <laughs> twice, Joy. Look, write it down here. What do you want to write? You want to write nineteen thousand? Write it down. Write, write it, it down. down. Nineteen thousand. Now you have the three, you have the two, <laughs> and you have the zero left. $320. Okay. No. Oh, no. One we got one more, more try. Chance. Come on now. One more chance. $21,000. All right. Now you okay. have the three, the zero, and the nine left. Three, ninety. Go ahead. Nine, nine zero. Zero. And. No, you <laughs> Oh, my gosh. She won. And she, she won it. the car. Bob just sits down and says, like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I love him so much. That's I great. can't believe that just happened. I've got to go wow. find me one of my girls to take care of a little business with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, what? Which, by the way, there were some scandals in okay. back in the day. Yeah. Bob right. was taking care of some serious business that on the set the of Price is Right, man. Happy people... birthday, Bob Barker, everybody. Absolutely. Think people forget about Bob's little foibles there. Oh, he had don't. some. Yeah, no, I didn't either. No, no, Bob's One beauty. man's foibles Bob's is another man's oh, talent. Please. Bob's beauties, man. They were on his deal, mm-hmm. man. That's what you were. Yeah. It's a deal, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. So I think girls. in honor of Bob Barker uh, today on my Twitter feed, I'm going to have to post the scene from Happy Gilmore.
Yeah, it's uh, making that sound there too. That's got plenty of. Plenty and then you know it. they did a follow up later on, mm. like years later at an award ceremony, it, which is hysterical. I mean, he's such a. I mean, he's just a legend in yeah. so many ways. Yeah. I uh, just saw an interview with him when he's. I mean, he's. You know, he's looking his age now. Well, he didn't used to, but get, kind of since retirement. Well, yeah, he he did. He's so. ninety nine, but ninety nine years old. And, you know, still pretty spry, it seems like. Right? Uh, well, sure. yeah, I don't know if he's sure. golfing anymore. Sure. But, but uh, was every interview? time I see him, on, I know, every time I see him out, uh, when he get, does get pictured out, he's in the wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, he's in a wheelchair all, now? He has all his helpers he? with him. but Because mm-hmm. I don't think Bob uh, oh, speaking, he doesn't you know, hit. traverse to the Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're not all seeing right. Bob down the bread <clears throat> aisle. Spe- speaking for a while. Of, of fading health issues there, um, we were asking what's going on with Jesse Jackson's health. A lot of people oh, yeah. responded that he has Parkinson's. Oh, I did does not he? know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. You wouldn't want, wish that on anybody. Nope. Huh. Uh, Jacinda Arden, or Ardern, oh. I guess, uh, is quitting as New Zealand Prime Minister. Mm. Yeah, incredible. I don't know why this happened, man. Something's going on. Yeah. She's <clears throat> claimed that it was, you know, she was worn out. She's worn out, man. Was done. And burned out. Yeah. Burned out. Do we have, I think we have the yeah. announcement. Yeah. So here, being, being a dictator it. is hard. It is hard. Yeah. yeah. Hi. And so today I'm announcing that I will not be seeking re election. Re election. And then my term as Prime Minister. Uh huh. We'll conclude no later than the 7th of February. Yeah, so she's gone. Mm. Boy, something happened. She said, uh, yeah. sign there's, me, there's, find there's, me a replacement, <clears throat> I'm out. Yeah, yeah. So that gives her a few weeks to burn all the incriminating documents that she may have in the office there. But, boy, she got out in front of this. She whatever. said she wants to spend time with her kid and that she wants to marry uh, the, her boyfriend. Oh, wow. That okay. because you can't they, do that as prime minister? Well, she wasn't able to marry him uh, because of COVID. Uh, during the COVID lockdowns, you can't marry people during no, COVID. Could, in, Probably not in, in her country. In New Zealand, you could. I mean, she was top dictator, put, man. Yeah, you could. They had they shut down everything, man. You couldn't what? go anywhere, do anything. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, she was really terrible yes. during the pandemic, and she one of her excuses was, uh, she's always been the kind of person who knows when it's her time. And when it isn't. Well, and right okay. now, it just isn't. Okay, but, she but, gave some kind of strange answer when she was asked about, hey, uh, you're quitting as prime minister. Are you going to go to work for the UN? Mm. Uh, and uh, there was some kind of you know, strange way she answered that. I so think, that's very possible. I think the next hmm. election was going to be in October, right? Like yeah. eight mo- You couldn't hang on for eight months? She's burned out. Something's She's about to come out about her and... That could be. Just want to get in front of it. That wouldn't surprise me either. I know. You know, with these tyrants who uh, get caught up in their fascism, uh, (laughs) a lot of times they're doing things behind behind the scenes that they don't want anybody to know about. Maybe she is just. Maybe, maybe it's possible. I suppose Mm -hmm. weirder things have happened. Although I couldn't name any right now. (laughs) Also, just a heads up: uh, KJP announced that Kamala Harris is actually the president as she was reading through her schedule yesterday. <laughs> this, is fun. this Sunday, the president will speak about the fight to secure women's fundamental right to reproductive health care mm. in the face of these attacks. That's just terrible. <laughs> so yep. Joe calls her the president. Yeah. KJP calls her the president. Starting to think that that's just the case <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> just the case. That's why those slip-ups continue to happen because she just is. She just is. <laughs> It just is. Somebody, somebody is manipulating him behind the scenes. Oh. I don't think it's Kamala, though. You I know, think I think Kamala it's more smart enough for that. Susan Rice, George Soros, Barack Obama, Barack third Obama. Term. Yep. I mean, Obama, Barack could definitely be his plan, but he doesn't have time for Joe. That's why you think Susan Rice. I mean, he. Yeah. Susan is his new girl. Yeah. And she's the person he put inside. Yeah. Because yeah. Brock he... doesn't have time for Joe. We know no. that we've seen Joe try to get his attention. He, he can't stand didn't Joe. Didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> he has no patience. <laughs> right. For Joe. Uh, and neither do I. I want to know <laughs> who loads the teleprompter. That's what I want to know. There's your president of the United States. Whoever's in charge of that. You think? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. That's a good gig then. That is a good gig. That's a good gig. Uh, all right. 888 Last week, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell 
said that the central bank will not get involved in issues like climate change. Oh, good, good. That That's beyond its congressional established mandate. Okay, good. And vowed that the institution will not become a climate policymaker. That was last week. That seems appropriate. Yes, yeah, sure it does. does. But that was, I mean, that was clear back last week. How old were you? <laughs> Last week, I mean, come, we I think history I was, books that long. I was four years old last week. No. It's too long ago to Oof. even remember. Well, in the whole seven days that have elapsed since then, now the Federal Reserve said, uh, you know, maybe the, the large, the six largest banks in the U.S. have until the end of July. Wait, what? To show the impact that climate change could have oh. on their operations. Oh, okay. Well, so somebody didn't like that press release from the Federal Reserve last <laughs> yeah, week, no right? And either that, or maybe the climate's just gotten so bad in the last seven well, days yeah. they had to do change. You, do you know we now have rain bombs? Now we have rain bombs. Oceans are boiling. Well, the ocean is boiling hmm. right now. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think I'd be doing any boating. On the ocean, I don't think I'd be taking a yacht trip. Certainly, no, no swimming. Right? I think it's convenient, no. though, that the ocean is cooking your meal for you now. <laughs> I will say, I guess it could be heating up, though. I mean, whales are coming up on shore, killing themselves up and down the East Coast, man. So there's possible. a lot of whale suicide I happening know. right now. I know it's weird. Under the review, though, the institutions are to show the anticipated impact that events like floods, no. wildfires, hurricanes, no. heat waves, droughts could have on their loan portfolios no. and commercial real estate holdings. Catch that? Their loan portfolios. Mm-hmm. That means if you're a business Golly. trying to get a bank loan, yeah. you're going to have to show the bank the impact you're going to have on the environment so they can report to the Federal Reserve. I mean, we are in such a dangerous it's a bad place. place. As a country. Yeah, we're, we're in kind of a precarious place right now. Uh, earlier this week, though, Joe Biden said we would need F-15s, remember, to oh, de- such defeat a, the armed forces in this country. It's just his side threat to the American public. Are those on Craigslist or is it eBay? Where can you get F-15s? Yeah, I need one. Yeah. The only thing he didn't drag out then, you know, he used the Kevlar vest thing again. He right? did. He yeah. used the Kevlar vest thing yes, again. Yes, he did. Did the F-15s. The only thing he didn't drag out was... The uh, cannons. Which one? The cannons. The cannons. Yeah, the cannons. Yeah. yeah. You, can't, you can't buy a cannon... No, I think you, can. you can't. Yeah, you can. I think you can. Uh, but Geraldo Rivera has now responded, oh, and I yeah. know we are all breathlessly anticipating. What is it? What What does Geraldo think on this? <laughs> if, did if, he deliver ha- this message in a towel, Jeffy? <laughs> no, he did know? not. Okay. No, he did not. He didn't take a selfie in the mirror. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, Here's I, his response. If that's a word, it it makes makes macho. <laughs> The people who possess it, oh, look at me, I'm a big it's deal. A and, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a rifle. It's not a rifle. Yes, it's a rifle. It is a yes. machine gun. What does AR stand it is, for? It is, it is an automatic so rifle. <gasps> no. No, it doesn't, douche. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play, I'll, wait, no, at the end of that clip, he talks about he's for the uh, IRS, too, the new 87,000 IRS agents as well. It is a, it is a machine What does AR stand yeah, for? It is, okay. it is an uh, automatic so rifle. No. It, no. No, no, no. No. No, that's not what it is. Well, I, all I know is that for they are have no place it doesn't right matter. It doesn't society matter other than sport clubs. That's and I knows. agree with him on that. Sport I also clubs. think, uh, ironically, that we do need I mean, uh, do more talk? IRS agents if they say we need more. There you go. That, I mean, they, that clip ends with him saying that we do need more IRS agents. Okay. <sighs> no problem, Geraldo. <laughs> with you, babe. And, 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 <sighs> and, and not completely unrelated, mm-hmm. I need my AR-15, Geraldo. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It, it's amazing that the the most adamant gun control people, you know, people like Geraldo, are the ones who know the least no. about guns. Why they have they, why no they talk? clue. Why do they feel it necessary I don't know. to talk? I don't know because they never know what they're they talking about. They never know what they're talking. Not stands once. for automatic automatic rifle. That's what it stands <laughs> for. No. No, it stands for Armalite. It stands for Al's gun, and we just don't like it. And he doesn't. It doesn't matter, right? He says no. That's not what it. Sa- that's not what it means. I don't care. It doesn't matter. What I don't care. Means. Yeah, I don't exactly. Care. I don't care. Yeah. And that's the same thing with like uh, 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 Michael Bloomberg. It's like you know the automatic. That's the gun we got to get rid of. The one that goes da 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 da. Shut. It's agonizing. It really is. Have we heard from Mike lately? Is he okay? He's probably. I guarantee you, is in Davos. I guarantee you. No question. Yeah. 
And But, I mean, all billionaires are in Davos right now. Uh, the Biden administration wants to ban gas stoves, too, in addition to the automatic rifles that they want to ban. He, he really desperately, Biden does want to ban AR-15s. He doesn't know oh, anything absolutely. about it. He doesn't know why any should, anybody should have one, though. I mean, I could give him a whole bunch of reasons, but he doesn't understand no, he them, does not. apparently. And uh, there's nothing like that in the Second Amendment that you don't need. Is there? Is there any text in the second amendment about not needing a certain type of weapon because i'm not aware of it yeah. hmm. not anyway needing. uh here's a group of concerned moms yeah. who are standing up now about the uh about the gas yeah, stove so situation it's good. It's good. we found the weapons of mass destruction they're in your kitchen every year millions of americans are harmed by gas stoves <laughs> a gas stove attacked my kid melted her face clean off you want to see <laughs> um, <laughs> Lost my husband to a gas stove. They're probably on a beach in Boca Raton together right now. <laughs> a gas stove killed my Travis. Mom, when's dinner gonna be? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. The poor kid. No. We are mothers, mothers against, against gas, gas assault, assault stoves. stoves, or MAGAs for short. <laughs> Oh. President Biden, we urge you to get gas off the streets and out of the hands of criminals. Don't fall for the big gas propaganda. Now, with my new, less sexually threatening electric stove, I <laughs> can truly bake back better. Don't you need eggs for baking? <laughs> In this economy? <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think Travis would go for? Like a half dozen or... Bye, Travis. Mama loves you. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. So kind of funny. Traded for eggs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's cute. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, it's wow. Is it perfect? No, but it's better than wow. anything Saturday Night Live produces. I'll Absolutely. tell you that right now. That, that's that's way a to fact. set the bar high. <laughs> Uh, Nigel Farage has a warning for us. Um, yes. You might want to check this, this out. This is terrifying. Yep. Mm. Almost unnoticed, a week ago, the Declaration of North America was signed. In it, the presidents of Mexico, America, and the Prime Minister of Canada talk about North American DNA, as if to say, we are one people. I think the subplot is perhaps they're thinking about planning one country. Why do I say that? They talk about ever closer cooperation on health, <clears throat> defense, Immigration. No. Americans, we've seen this playbook before. Yep. It was called the common market. Nothing to worry. Our little heads about. And it turned into the European Union. <laughs> Watch yeah. out mm. for this pact that Biden has signed. Before you know it, you'll be stuck in a globalist club with big decisions being made about your life, taken by other people you can't vote for, you can't remove. Wake up, America. Wow. Yeah. Because, you know, they were down there for quite a while and we kept getting clips yes, from Mexico were. and we thought, I, mm. I thought, what, why are they, I, I don't know what's going on down there. Like, what are they meeting about? Ta-da! They signed an agreement for a uh, coming North American Union, perhaps. So, do, do you remember 20 years ago when we were in Houston? That was a big deal. That was the big yeah. uh, talk around the border at that time was yes. that they were planning a North American Union and that Mexico, United States, and Canada wanted to meld into one yeah. like a European that was their Union. Deal with, their, with their trade routes. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, uh, we, and, and they got the yeah. trade routes done effectively. Yeah. And then it kind of died down. Nobody talked about it anymore. And now from Nigel Farage, we get this. I mean, I haven't heard. A little concerned. You heard anything about that? No. I knew that they were down there. The only thing I heard about when they were down there is that uh, wow. El Chapo's son was rearrested and a bunch of people that heard we about were, that we were supposed to he was supposed to be uh transferred to the u.s and they said no and we'll figure it out later but all these people died in the process of arresting him again because he was arrested before and they set him free because there right, were because so many people were ki getting killed yeah the mob the uh <laughs> yeah, his the, the mob yeah, head yeah just sent out his his warriors yeah. and just start just shooting people, people randomly. Yeah, we just kill people. So they went into the city and they just started gunning people down to the point where, okay, I think let it was, out. was it the mayor of the let city him, I mean, that finally said, hey, just let him go. Let him go. Just let him go. And it worked. So, And this, is, this is in Mexico, right? Yes. yes. So it's a good thing we have yep. a secure border. That stuff we don't have happening here. And, right. You know, well, that's no, so yeah. far away. It's another country. <laughs> right. It's not the... I'm, uh, I'm so glad that's uh, taken care of. Um... It's been a heavy day, I think, right? Mm -hmm. been a lot of stuff. Do you want to finish with this uh, honest little girl? She's cutie, you know, on uh, 
In clip 23. Well, I know Jeffy is, does. Is, is Jeffy, if there's Jeffy one thing I know, it's that Jeffy, Jeffy has seen Jeffy this video, to... and he's a big fan of it. Can we play clip 23, this honest little girl? Are you smart? Yeah. Are you strong? Yeah. Are you brave? Yeah. Are you pretty? Yeah. Are you kind? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Jeffy doesn't like that. What's his problem? What 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 is this? No, it's cute. No. She's honest. No, it's cute. I'm yeah, not really no, kind. That's cute. That's, cute. <laughs> that's a fun part of these. He's you know so much worse than even I am on the animal videos. Uh-huh. And then on a precious little girl like this, yeah, no, she, still, I said she was cute. You still can't get to his heart. I said he was cute. There's too much. Ugh. It's cute. I got it. Cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's not kind. So little. I'm not kid. kind. No one's making a cute video of me. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't forget, uh, we've had to delay the off-the-record segment today because I'm filling in for Glenn, so that will be handled sometime in uh, February with your questions and and uh, all that off-the-record fun that is to be had. BlazeTV.com slash Pat. Finish off the week uh, tomorrow and check me out on uh, Glenn coming up. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.